Thanks for taking a couple of minutes to watch this video from virtualroof.com. We're really excited today to show you how our customers can be anywhere in the world and still have full access to all of their software applications and all of the company's data, no matter whether they're logging in from a laptop, from a desktop, from a Mac, or in this case, from an iPad. Specifically today, we're gonna to show you ACT on, the, on, on our servers being accessed from an iPad. So I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. We're already logged into our server and we've got our virtual desktop up. And if you notice, there's some Microsoft Office applications, um, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook. There's also ACT Premium 2011. There's ACT, I'm sorry, QuickBooks Premier 2011. We also host Pro and Enterprise. Um, and as far as ACT is concerned, we actually go all the way back to ACT 2000. Um, we host that one as well as all the way up to ACT 2012. We've been hosting ACT and these other applications in this environment for nearly 10 years. So, we zoom back out here a little bit. And to access or to open an application, all you do is you double tap it just like you would if you were sitting at your desk. And then you log into the database. and it's gonna open that database up just as fast as it would if it were running on your local desktop. So you can be anywhere, you can be on a plane, and you're still going to be able to work just as, sitting, as if you're sitting at your desk. And as you can see, this is our company database. Um, it's been customized, it's got a virtual, a virtual roof logo on it, it's got some custom fields in it. Those are all things that you can do with a full-blown version of ACT on our servers that you cannot do with ACT for Web. Just to demonstrate that a little bit, I'm going to activate this mouse here, and I'm going to go up to the Tools pull-down menu, and we'll go to Define Fields. You cannot go into Define Fields if you're using ACT for Web. So if you're going to host with somebody who's hosting ACT for Web, you don't have the capability to customize your database. You actually have to get them to do it for you. And when we go into this, we're able to add fields, we're able to change the names of fields, change the parameters and, and characteristics of those fields to customize it to fit our business's specific needs, or in your case, your business's specific needs. It's one of the really cool features of ACT that you're able to customize it. And if you're using ACT for web, you're not going to be able to do that. The other cool thing that I'll show you is under the right pull-down menu, Sage eMarketing for ACT. And again, this is something that you cannot do in ACT for Web, but you can do on our system because we're running the full-blown version. Just to show you also how quick this is, if how responsive it is, if I want to scroll through these records, you can see as fast as I'm tapping, it's moving through. So again, this is just as if you're running it on your local machine. We also host Outlook. We have Exchange Server set up for that and there's full integration between ACT and Outlook. Again, that's not the case with ACT for Web. You have very little integration between ACT and Outlook when you're using ACT for Web, but you have complete integration when you're using ACT on our servers at virtualroof.com. Well, that's pretty much it for this demonstration. If you need more information, you can go to our website at virtualroof.com. You can also go to YouTube and do a search for virtualroof.com. We've got lots of other videos you can watch. And you can also call us. Our phone number is 407-965-0655. Thanks for watching.